Hey everyone, it's your girl Ingrid May and with our boy Marky Mark here for Pinoy Bounce Ball Culture segment where we're going to take you inside at the Sportsnet Grill where Raptors Republic and ATB News do collaboration for a watch party here for the Raptors home opener. Check this out. What up, guys? It's your boy, Mikey Mark. I'm here with Don from ATV News. How you feeling, bro? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you for having me, man. I'm, and we're excited, too, and we're happy, too, that you guys allowed us here to come join you guys on your first watch party. Tell us a little bit how this came together. Well, um, Adam from uh, Raptors Republic kind of brought me in the fold. Uh, we've been kind of talking and trying to figure out a way how we can collab and, and kind of you know, reach out to the city in a way where, you know, we're making an impact, right? So he kind of brought me in and showed me his idea of what he had with with with, um, with this watch party. And I was all for it, to be honest, you know, it's just a great idea, a great way to reach out to the fans and, and just kind of just organic, organically connect, you know, with, with the city. So, you know, it, as soon as he, he brought it to me, it was a no brainer. Tell us a little bit about your working with Raptors Republic and ATB News. What do you guys hope for to achieve with with the Rap Watch Party and some more collaboration with you guys? Just 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 bringing more exposure to to basketball and and Raptors, right? Um, I don't think there's like a, a media outlet that's like besides the Raptors that's that's really focusing on the Raptors, right? And and just Canada basketball. So we're just trying to, you know, reach out to, to fans in a way where, you know, other bigger media outlets aren't doing, you know? So just try to be different and, and creative with it. And speaking of the Raptors, now we get a chance to get really your thoughts about the whole offseason and the championship run. What was your all thoughts and feeling about what just happened? Uh, I mean, I'm still trying to soak it all in, to be honest. Like, it's... it's it's hard to, to really believe that, you know, you know, I just watched the ring ceremony, you know, for our city, you know. So all of that is just still, you know, soaking in and, and with the off season and all that, like I mean I'm I'm still optimistic with the team, you know, we, we, we got some good parts. I feel like, you know, we can still do some damage this year. I feel like, you know, a lot of a lot of teams and a lot of like people in general are are sleeping on us. You know, I feel like we're not really getting credit for, you know, the work that we did, you know, to get the title. So I, I feel like a lot of the players will have a chip on their shoulder and try to prove themselves this season. Watching the, the ring ceremony and the banner coming up, what does this mean to you as a Raptor fan and to Raptor fans out there in Canada, maybe in all around the globe? I mean, it's, it's, it's a surreal feeling, to be honest. Like I was saying, like, it's hard to believe like I've been watching the Raptors since I was a kid you know I remember watching every single game you know being in my living room you know not missing a game and and for it to come to this full circle is just it's amazing like it's, it's just it's crazy to think about and like I feel like it's gonna have a lot of impact on you know kids you know growing up with the game you know being able to witness this like it's gonna it's gonna bring a lot of like you know, basketball, like, junkies and, you know, like, more like young players coming up and, you know, playing the game, you know, it's, the game is going to grow because of this. I agree as well. And I guess coming into a landing, what are your hopes to see for the Raptors this season? What are your expectations? What are your predictions for the Raptors in this 2020 season? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go all crazy and, you know, I'm going to be realistic. I feel like we'll will be in the top four, you know. And I mean, we we could, if everything goes right, I feel like we can sneak to number two because I, I don't feel like Philly has a has a really good bench. So I feel like we can sneak to two if everything goes well. But realistically, we'll we'll be like you know top four, you know four seed, and probably get out of the second round in the playoffs for sure. I feel like. And I hope they get that far because I want to see Siakam. I want to see the development of OG and Fred Van Fleet as well, all right? Yeah, thank you so much, Don. And any last words you want to say out there? Shout outs, you know, where can they find you? Where can they find ATV News Team on, on, on social media? And what upcoming projects do you guys have in mind? Uh, well, uh, upcoming projects, we do have another watch party um, here uh, November 2nd with Raptors Republic. 
so you can look out for that. Um, we're also gonna have uh, a 2K tournament as well uh, coming up uh, after after the watch party on the second. So you can tune in for for more details on that as well. Um, of course, I'll sh love to shout out my team. Uh, can can't do any of this without my team. So uh, quick quickly shout them out, and they know who they are. Um, Raptors Republic for bringing me on board, um, and, and Sportsnet, of course, for you know sponsoring this whole this whole event. Um, and uh, of course, you can find us at ATB News on uh, Instagram and um, and Twitter as well. ATB News with the hashtag, um, sorry, with an underscore at the end there, and then it's just at ATB News everywhere else. So we're pretty easy to find, and yeah, just tune in. We got we got a lot of things coming up this season, so I'm excited. Awesome, thank you, Don. I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. But stay tuned for more because we're here. Pinoy Bounds Ball Culture, the first watch party, Raptors Republic, ATV News. Keep going, guys. Ah. What up, guys? It's your boy here, Marky Mark. I'm here with Zarar. One of the head founders of Captors Republic. How you doing, bro? Uh, pretty amazing. Uh, exactly, I'm doing 8178. Awesome. I mean, this is an amazing event to have a watch party. Tell us a little bit about how this came about with Captors Republic and ATB News. Uh, well, Raptors Republic has been around since uh, 2007 or 8, I'd say. Um, I think uh, we've been a pretty old fan site for the Raptors. Uh, we kind of came about uh, because we just felt the fans needed a truer voice of what's happening on the court and the organization and what's happening on the court needed to be reflected better in the media and uh, Rappers Republic came about during that time so uh, I don't know it was uh, it was just a fan movement it was completely organic not made not created to make any sort of financial gain or any sort of commercial gain it was just a bunch of fans trying to get together and talk about the Raptors and we kind of came up with this idea and it kind of blew up which is amazing Tell us a little bit how it happened. I mean, maybe you probably have it fresh in your mind from the moment it hit the, you know, the fact where everyone's been following and just commenting and sharing your videos. Well, Andrea Bargnani is how it happened, really. <laughs> uh, because uh, when Brian Colangelo drafted Andrea Bargnani, uh, you know, for the first little bit, it made a little bit of sense. But when you started building a franchise around him, it was like, uh, what are you doing, man? This is not a good idea at all. And uh, everything you look at is like, this not a good idea. And nobody was saying that this is not a good idea. And we felt like somebody should say that it's not a good idea. So we said that it's not a good idea. And uh, I think a lot of fans gravitated towards that opinion. And uh, the fans, uh, the fans kind of came to the site because they knew that we were saying what they thought. And they it allowed them a forum to kind of speak like what they uh, like what they actually felt and it, nobody would censor them and it was an open community and it was a lot of fun so that's how the, how the site kind of started and from then on we've been very fortunate to have a lot of really good people on our team uh, Blake Murphy I want to give a shout out to William Liu uh, there's a lot of guys that that went through the ranks that contributed a lot to Raptors Republic and it's really because of them that we're, 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 we're a well-known entity awesome and tell us a little bit about the wash party here that's happening at Sportsnet Grill. How did this came about? What was the idea that came to your to your team's mind? Well, I mean, we've been doing watch parties since uh, 2009, I want to say, uh, when there was an old Peel pub in Toronto on King Street. Uh, that was a great venue, got shut down, got turned into something else and then into something else. But Peel pub was amazing. And uh, we've been having watch parties since then. Now, I think people are just more aware of the watch parties because the Raptors are winning. Right, so I don't think this is a new concept or something new that we've done. It's just now that people are paying attention to it because the team is winning. And with regards to the winning, tell us a little bit about the Raptors in general, winning the championship, the banner, and the ring ceremony. Tell us how you felt and what does this mean to the Raptor fans and the community? Well, I think this championship has its own meaning to, to, to each Raptor fan. So I don't know if I can tell you what it means for each Raptor fan. That's a story that they have to tell on their own. Uh, for me, what it means is that, um, uh, you know, I wrote an article like earlier in the summer that, you know, like I'm actually a better human being because of the Raptors winning. I'm like calmer, my temper has gone down. I'm just a better human being. Like when I wake up and something goes wrong and I'm like, instead of getting like upset, I'm like, oh, you know, things aren't that bad. You know why? Because the Raptors have just won a championship. So that kind of thought process has permeated my daily life. and. 
Uh, I just think it's been amazing. I mean, I've been a Raptor fan since, you know, since as long as I can remember. So, you know, I, I like many, like thousands and hundreds of thousands of others, I have been through a lot and I am by, by no means the only one. Uh, there, are, there are many, many like us. And uh, for those of us that follow the team through the uh, Daryl Walker years and the Damon Stoudemire and the Carlos Rogers and the Reggie Slaters and the Walt Williams and the Doug Christie's, uh, I think this championship means so much to us because it kind of feels like a payoff at the end of a long period of suffering. Uh, it's almost uh, from a Dostoevsky novel. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. Any last words out there you want to give to our fans? Any shout outs you want to give to our audience? Where can they find you? What's more to come for Raptors Republic? Uh, you can find us at raptorsrepublic.com, um, at Raptors Republic on Twitter and, Anst and Instagram. Uh, what's next? We don't know, man. We go by the flow. Let's see what happens in this game, then we'll react to it, and that's how the site lives. It's not a. Uh, it's not something we plan far out ahead. We more or less react to what's happening because I think sports writing is something you react to. You don't uh, say, oh, I'm gonna do this next month and then next month. We're gonna have our basketball tournament. We're gonna have a watch parties. We're gonna have articles. We're gonna have podcasts. We're gonna have video. We're gonna have social, all that stuff. But uh, I don't know, man. It just depends on how the team does. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jar. I appreciate it. This is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Before we end off, let's send off to Ingrid. Any last words you want to say to our audience? Be sure to check us out on all social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. James, what you got? Make sure you check pinorcrossover.ca for new content. Awesome. And then, any last words to our fans out there and followers? Thank you guys for having me as always. Make sure you check out Ben Wallace's greatest blocks on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely gonna check it out. <laughs> Other than that, guys, stay ballin'.